Hello, my name is Mike Hubson. I'm the regional, uh, Northeast Regional Sales Manager with Yokogawa Corporation of America. Today we're going to be providing you with a brief product demonstration of Yokogawa's WT1800 Power Analyzer. Before showing you how the instrument works, I wanted to briefly turn the instrument around. Um, you can get a WT1800 configured with up to six input elements, each input element being one watt meter. We have direct voltage and current inputs. Uh, there's two input elements to choose from, one with a 5 amp maximum and one with a 50 amp maximum, both rated at with a 1 megahertz uh, frequency. There's also an external sensor, should you happen to have any kind of external shunts that you'd like to feed into the instrument itself. The universal input will provide up to two uh, extra inputs, which you can bring any type of external sensor with a low voltage output. Um, there's many emerging industries, uh, especially in the alternative energy sector. So if you had some kind of a wind or velocity meter or some kind of light meter you want to bring into the instrument, you can do that. Um, there's on the second version, which is a motor version, there would be two channels, one for torque and for speed, you would have an A, B, and Z connector. This will allow you to compute things like electrical angle and mechanical power from the motor. The unit comes standard with three different interfaces to communicate with the instrument from a laptop or PC. You have GPIB, Gigabit Ethernet, or USB. There are two additional USB ports located on the front panel for peripheral devices such as USB stick, mouse, or keyboard. Large display for extreme clarity when you're looking at uh, measurement parameters or viewing waveforms, or some of the different display capabilities like graphing harmonics, for example, or trending values over a long period of time. The WT1800 is very easy to set up. Once you wire up the unit in the back, then it's a matter of telling the instrument how you're wired. You start by basically um, keeping either of the six input elements as single phase inputs, or you can easily switch and select three phase so you can have a combination of a three phase input and output of an inverter, for example, to compute efficiency. In this case, we have a single phase input, so we're going to leave that alone. <clears throat> Here's where you can set independent voltage and current across each of the input elements, or if you're in a three-phase configuration, you would set the ranges once tied to that three-phase input. Now you can either auto-range <coughs> both, and the work will be done for you, or you can manually set the ranges yourself. By deselecting unwanted ranges, you minimize the amount of time it takes for this unit to stabilize through the ranges and start making effective measurements. If you only had two ranges, or let's say if you're doing repetitive testing from zero to say 600 volt, you can take out any of the unwanted ranges, therefore it would go from zero to 600 volt range and then your measurements would be ready to go. You have the choice of looking at numeric values, waveforms, or a variety of different other features. As far as numeric values, you can change the number of values and for what elements you want to view measurements for just by simply hitting this numeric key and cycling through the various different displays. If you wanted to change any of these items, you can easily use the quick set keys. Each key is labeled for voltage, current, power, apparent power, reactive power, power factor, for example. So I can easily pick my target uh, measurement. In this case, let's just say if I want to change power factor, I can change that to any of, let's say, apparent or reactive power. And the target element, I can even change that to any of the other six, or even a summation if I was doing a three-phase application. From here, um, you have 1 through 12 pages, so if you were doing simultaneous single phase measurements and you were maybe testing up to six different devices, you can easily put your various different measurements on each of these pages and you'll notice that the measurements are staying the same, but it's switching which target element it's making measurements for. As well as the summations, A, B, and C. And you'll see it's walking through and stepping through each one of these tab, uh, tabs on the side. Okay. If you wanted to view waveforms, you just hit the waveform key. And by hitting the waveform key multiple times, that will display, that will change the number of separate grids for depending on the amount of waveforms you're trying to view until eventually you get back to a single display. You can also mix and match these displays to be, for example, numeric values as well as waveforms or numeric values and bar graphs if you were doing harmonics. The WT1800 offers the industry first uh, single or dual harmonic package, which allows you to phase lock up to two separate, um, let's say, for example, if you had a single phase or, or, single, or if you had a single input, 
as well as an output. You want to phase lock both frequencies so your harmonic measurement is as accurate as possible. On the harmonics, whether you have single or dual, this unit offers up to 500 orders at 50 or 60 hertz fundamental. Now, for anyone working in any kind of uh, aircraft applications, oftentimes the fundamental frequency is very high and the maximum number of orders is also very high. This unit will allow you up to 255 orders with a one kilohertz fundamental. Again, is a leading uh, industry standard. Once you've captured the data that you uh, hope to measure, you can then have your choice of different ways, various different ways of taking the data off. You can do everything from print to paper from the front panel, or you can choose to save the image to say a USB stick, which I just happen to have a USB stick in my pocket. You can quickly and easily stick a USB stick in. You can set up the destination, so it could be either over USB stick, it can be to a network folder, or a variety of different other choices, okay? You have your choice of different formats from bitmaps to PNG to JPEGs. Now this is just a graphic representation or a screenshot of what you're looking at. If you wanted to take it a step further and save the actual data file itself, you can come here by pressing file. You can either save setup files, save the waveform, or in numeric values. If you were to save a waveform, you would then have to take that binary file and open it with some type of software, in which case we offer WT Viewer. This unit's equipped with a number of other features to help you measure, take your values, put it to a CSV file without you having to do all the work, right? which is called a store function. In a store function, you're able to select any of the measured items across any of the target elements for the amount of, or the number of measurements in a row you want to make. For example, if I wanted 1,000 consecutive measurements, I can set the store count to 1,000, select the measurements of interest, hit the store button, or you can tie it to the system clock to start the test when you're ready to start uh, based off the clock. From there, you'll have your CSV file, say the USB stick, which you can take off and you can go plug into your PC. Here's where you can also access uh, any one of your network settings. So if you wanted to go ahead and assign an IP address and put this on a network and save your data locally to a network folder, you can do so as well. This is a basic demonstration and product overview. If you have any further questions or would like uh, to speak to a local representative, feel free to go to our website at tmi.yokogawa.com.